All right, guys, here we go again. Look, this should be shorter. We already know what the question is. Um, this is part two. I just want you to understand what I'm looking for in key concepts. Realistically, this is just showing us as quickly as you can. Elias, I actually have read a couple of paragraphs on what customer satisfaction is, a few journals. Um, I can talk to any manager and explain it, sounding like I have a university degree. It's just that simple. So I'll show you how I'd go about it. Now, the first go-to you could always do is go to your Elliot definition. Okay, that's nice, but um, when you have 480 others doing it, um, shows you are boring. Unless we do more. Uh, look, seriously... Start with Elliot. It shows you actually own a textbook. That makes us happy. But what I would then do is go back to where we were. Just go customer satisfaction definition. Now, you've got even here by different authors. Like, seriously, this is bullshit. It's so easy. <laughs> Let's click on it and see what we have. Um... Here we go. Look, look at this. This is really technical stuff. Westbrook and Oliver, a post-choice and valuative judgment. Guys, forget that. You'll have brain hemorrhage. Uh, I should have known better. Let's just get back to customer satisfaction definition. Um, let's start with that. Now, go back to all because I'm still on images. Now, so you have a simple one, and this is what I'm saying. You've got, how do you define customer satisfaction is already here. What is customer satisfaction with examples? Why is, again, so let's click on this. Now, I don't know who ASQ is, but let's look at what it says. Defined as measurement from how happy customers are. Um, again, that's not bad. I'd be happy with you just to put that in. Okay, but let's have a look at Wikipedia. And this is a trick. A lot of people put shit on Wikipedia. But when you look at it, it's got theoretical background. Um, it's used in marketing. Um, I like to cheat and have a look here. Um, look at the references. Right, you've got business loyalty. You've got a theoretical background, which tells you where it comes from. Yeah, yeah, blah, blah. Um, these guys were usually, the, the in terms of service gap and satisfaction, Zethamol, Leonard, these are the legends, right? The service quality model. But I like to cheat and go, hey, let's have a look at some references here and see if there are any new ones. Um, 2005 um, is a textbook. Consumption, emotion patterns, nice. Cognition, yeah, that'll do your head in. Um, competing through service, a lot of the stuff you have that is in Wikipedia are actually from quality journals. So don't be too afraid to do it. So very much one thing is HubSpot's a great, um, really one of the best online digital marketing companies out. Um, I like a lot of their stuff. So you've got a five-minute read here of what is customer satisfaction. Right, guys, I would literally go copy back to your Word document, right? Control V. Um, the only thing I would, I could be a real smart ass, and I probably would, um, is because this isn't a mini report where we're so pushed for uh, word limits and time, um, I would just go here. HubSpot, or if it's easier, just put your mini. It's up to you, depends on your preference. In the right-hand column, it just shows that, hey, we've got it. Um, right, what I would then do is go back to online, guys, and just go bang, copy. You can guess the next step. Folks, you just go straight down to your references. All right, control V. Right, do it properly. You do have to go through the university uh, 
There's a little training program on Harvard referencing. To get any of your marks, you guys have to do it. So find it online, have a crack at it. If I find it, I'll add it to the other one. It's one of the problems of doing it from my side. I um, don't realize how much material you have. Now, don't worry that these lines are um, starting to move, overlap, or what have you. One of the things you go to follow is you, as I showed you before, you go to shapes, you grab a line, you scroll down your page, right? Um, and then you just extend it straight down as you can, right? And you can match it up, right? Bit of fiddly stuff. You hit save and everyone's happy and hopefully yours won't be as wonky as mine. So I go back to online. Yes, I've looked at that. I don't want to subscribe. Um, you've got HubSpot. Um, you've got definitions, the marketing study guide. Gee, that sounds impressive. Now, what I want to do as well is actually you to have a bit of stuff there that explains why it's important. A definition's nice. Um, so, this looks like you've got a couple of definitions here. It's not really working for me. Again, get out of it. You're going to troll through a lot of crap. Now, you've got a block. Now, Neil Patel here. Benefits of importance of customer satisfaction. This guy is a digital marketing legend. Um, so I would, I would go through this and say, yeah, we're talking about customer experience, which is an extension. Um, here, you've got some great stuff. Customer satisfaction measures how your product, service, overall either falls short, meets or exceeds expectations. So this is a nice little line. Why is it important? So guys, I'm happy for you to paraphrase this or cut and paste into it and then just put a few lines down going, look, it's important. It's the basics of return business and so forth. So read your textbook as well. It's just trying to tell us why it's important. Now, Neil Patel is the online guru. When you guys do Mark 233, which is probably one of the best subjects in marketing because it's all the up-to-date Instagram, social media, YouTube, um, the influencer, bloggers, all of that stuff we look at. Facebook ad manager, SEO, all of the good stuff that really will help you get jobs. But again, key points like this you can use. So this is what I would literally cut and paste um, drop it back into this section, right? So the next one be, would be Neil Patel. Neil Patel said, right? Oh, I still can't type for crackers. Right, and in the end, um, I would just do a little summary. Um, in summary, yeah. So in your own words, do say four or five lines. Um, customer satisfaction is um, this and you might apply that directly to the hotel industry is critical that you can save later on so you can see guys that all we're doing is just showing very quickly hey I've actually done the work right we get down here right and we put Patel and again, don't forget, go to the bottom and, gee, surprise, surprise, you Neil, Neil Patel. Now, just so you guys know, when it comes to referencing, the first thing I'm going to look at and all my tutors look at when we do a mini report is your reference section. Right, we'll look at it, go down, and this tells us in terms of quality with how much work you've done. Um, it's a go-to. All right, so guys, that in short is literally um, how we do this. Um, have a quick look, copy it across, just start doing it. It takes away the stress. There's no right or wrong. Oh, Liza, I've got the wrong word here. It doesn't look right. Guys, you're not in high school. All you're doing in the first half is saying, Elias, I've done the friggin' work. Um, this is front section one to three um, are still worth 50%. So realistically, I'm still on full marks, Elias. Give me my five out of five, and then you move on. 
All right, guys, I'll try to stop this uh, recording and see how we go.